first step, you want to start off with a very long strip of a corrugated cardboard. This measures about 24 inches or 60 centimeters in length and 2 centimeters for the width. Now you can have it even bigger to have a bigger hoop and it's up to you. Now what you want to basically do, uh, you just want to take a very thick cardboard, so yeah, take the thickest as possible. Now you will want to kind of bend every single portion of it. Now what you want to basically do, you want to stick both these strips together using your hot glue gun. Then you want to take a small piece of a cardboard, same corrugated, and it's 2 cm wide with a 17 cm length. Now the idea is that we're going to take the big uh, loop and we're just going to stick it like that. So just grab your glue and start sticking. Make sure to use a chunk of hot glue on either side so that they can no way get apart from each other. Now you want to take a big piece of a thermocol or a styrofoam sheet. Now using this duct tape, I have this black color duct tape, but you can take any other duct tapes. Now you just want to use it straight, horizontal, and then vertical, like that, like so. This is just going to be the board for our basketball hoop. Now for this hoop, you can see I have used a uh, basketball net. This is homemade. I've made it. And if you're interested to put net in your basketball hoop, here's uh, one of the videos I've made in my YouTube channel. You can find the link in the description box to learn how to make this particular net for your basketball hoop. Now you want to take your glue gun and start gluing it onto the board. Now we're going to take some triangular pieces of cardboard and we're going to keep it underneath the basketball hoop so that it stays rigid and supported so that it cannot break free. So here you guys can see I have the two supporters supporting the basketball hoop which makes it really nice and strong. It won't easily break. You can literally play with any bigger softballs you have at home because there's a big diameter makes it more fun to play with and more enjoyable. So. That's how I can conclude this video. If this video was helpful to you, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't to get the latest events and videos regarding creative homemade tutorials. You guys take care. I'll catch you guys next time.